guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So I've done a video recently about my favorite updos on historical fiction books and I have done a video about my favorite dresses on historical fiction books. Today I'm going to be talking about a couple books that I couldn't place in either category because I loved their hair and I loved their dresses. The first book is The Lightkeeper's Ball by Colleen Coble and I love, love, love the red of her dress. And also, you can't see, but up close, her hair is absolutely gorgeous. It is so curly and just full, but there's also this super cute clip that's in her hair that's red, and it just really pulls from her dress as well, and it's just so elegant and so beautiful. And next is Donna Emberwild by Sarah E. Ladd, and this is another one that is kind of simple, but still so elegant and so beautiful, and it is just this plain blue dress with this lace around the collars and the sleeves something I would totally wear today and she also has her hair in this gorgeous updo that is simple yet kind of curly and I don't know how to explain the fact that it's just beautiful and simple and elegant. The next book is The Dilemma of Charlotte Farrow by Olivia Newport and this is such a fun cover because it is based around the Chicago Fair Again, it's a simple one, and she's just got a simple suit, like a walking suit on. She also has a beautiful updo of like a wavy curly do, and her tendrils, her wispies, are just super, super pretty, and I love how it's loose, but still looks really elegant and pretty. And the last book that I'm going to talk about is To Wager Her Heart by Tamara Alexander. This one is so pretty and something I noticed today while I was looking at this cover is that she has braids in her bun actually. So instead of it just being like a normal chignon, it is braided and twisted and all kinds of fun. There's like pin curls and stuff. It's just a very intricate hairstyle. And then on top of it, her dress is super fun and super beautiful. There's a bunch of fun aspects to it. Uh, like she's got four different things going on at least and I totally would kill for a dress like this. It's just so pretty. They weren't just a pretty dress or they weren't just a pretty updo, but they had both. So I had to make it their own video. I hope you like these covers. Let me know a cover that you have in your collection or a cover that you've seen just while you're scrolling through social media that has a beautiful dress and a beautiful hairstyle. Again, I would love to add to my TBR pile. Or just stare at the picture. You can follow my blog, ForTheLoveOfChristianFiction.blogspot.com And you can also check out my Instagram, which is for the love of Christian Fiction. All my other links are in the description box below. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!